Hello, everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to the Spirit has given us together. Today, I'm meditating upon our grudges blocks our prayers. Before we start, let's see what Spirit talks about in this topic. Mark chapter 11, verse 24 to 26. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Now let's see you can learn from the verse you just read. We must be glad that we have God who is always ready to give us whatever we ask him. A God who is always prepared to forgive all our trespasses. But he asks us to be fair and carry the same attitude of grace we received by him. He is also adamant about forgiving others. What Jesus says should chill us to our souls. We will be forgiven the way we forgive others. He has reinforced the point again in Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 to 15. Holding grudges blocks the Lord's graciousness from our lives. Let's be children of our Father, lavish in His forgiveness, quickness to love, and slowness to judge. This Lent season, practice removing the grudges and let your prayer be answered. Practice giving up grudges for the next few days to make a habit to always be ready to forgive all who are against you. This message also gives us a promise to do today. The promise is, pray for anything, and if you believe that you have received it, it will be yours. Let's close time and pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, I trust in your forgiveness and grace. Lord, I ask that you let your spirit work in my heart to release any grudges that I may have against anyone. Please allow me, the Holy Spirit, to help me to forgive those against whom I have been holding grudges and help me to see them in a new and more loving way. Lord, allow me to see the offenses and transform them as an opportunity to know that you more intimately and let your Holy Spirit work inside of me, making all things good and new inside of me. Let me have a thankful spirit, patience, kindness, and grace. Help me to embrace this season of fasting as an opportunity to rediscover you and your goodness. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Have a blessed year and if God, we talk to you tomorrow.